To see the wires falling from the from the roof, you can see the indistinguishable tiles dating back to the Soviet times. Good morning from the streets of Kont, sorry, I mean Yerevan, Armenia. There are quite a few things why this small landlocked country in the middle of the Caucasus is popular for its wine, the hospitality of its people, and for the fact that just a little over 30 years ago it was struck by one of the most devastating earthquakes of the 20th century. At 11.41 on the 7th of December 1988, an earthquake struck northern Armenia, killing 50,000 and injuring up to 130,000 people. The quake lasted just 20 seconds, but the dust cleared to scenes of other devastation. Armenia was then part of the Soviet Union and most residential buildings in the region were shuttered Soviet air apartment blocks that crumbled into piles of rubble. Since I was in Yerevan, I decided to go to a bus stop and find a marshrut cut to the second largest city of Armenia, Gyumri. Gyumri, da. Gyumri was the city closest to the epicenter of the 1988 earthquake and it is yet to recover nowadays from that devastating disaster. Many quake damaged buildings are still easily recognizable on the street and its population currently sits at 114,000 people, down from a peak of 230,000 just before the earthquake. Oh. Oh wow, I swear I'm gonna die crossing the road in Armenia one of these days. Здрасте, автовокзал? И там оттуда 100% отправляют маршрутки до Гюмри. So I arrived to this place on foot because I read on the internet that this was the place where I could find маршрутки and buses to Гюмри, but apparently it's not. А так что? Из вокзала. Вокзал и оттуда ходят до Гюмри. But apparently buses to Gyumri are leaving from another location so I had to jump on a taxi and we're now going to the bus station, to the Aftavagzal where hopefully I'll be able to jump on my final mean of transport to Gyumri. Alrighty, so this is the bus station of Yerevan where we start our journey to Gyumri. Wow, with all these buses going to I don't know where, just because the destinations are all written in Armenian, so I have no idea what they say. Здравствуйте, вы водители? А я хочу в Гюмри. Гюмри, тогда подождите. Подожди. Хорошо. А сколько стоит? Еще пятьсот. Oh wow, they've got a modern marshutka system here in Armenia. Look at this. Look at my ticket. I'm wondering if I'll be able to keep it as a souvenir once the ride is over. Apparently, it says here Gyumri, allegedly. Простите. Oh, and finally I got my seat on the bus to Gyumri. Yeah. Что самый второй большой город в Германии. Ну даже про зем... землетрясение я знал в Гюмри. Да. И поэтому я хочу посмотреть. We spent like an hour stuck in traffic trying to get out of Yerevan, but finally we're on our way. So now what awaits us is two hours riding through the valleys, the Armenian valleys of the Caucasus, which is a region which of course is highly vulnerable to large and destructive earthquakes because it's part of a seismic belt that stretches all the way from the Alps to the Himalayas. As 
we're going up into the mountains, the sky is just clouding up a tiny bit. How long did it take? 25 minutes. 25 minutes? Okay. I mean, I've been on more cars which were a lot more uncomfortable than this one, but still, I can't wait until I arrive in Gyumri. Ah, is this the center? Da, da, da. Ah, museum. Okay. All right, guys, we officially made it to Gyumri. Welcome, Gyumri. Kak, kak, Parmianski. Welcome, Gyumri. Bari galust, Gyumri. Bari galust, Gyumri. Bari galust, Gyumri. Okay. Ti očem bistro na učiš. Da, da, da. Ni pasiraju. Well, welcome to the second largest city in Armenia. Let me just say bye to the kind lady who kept me company. Svidanja. And yeah, let's go and explore Gyumri. Let's see what we can find. The shock occurred on a chilly Wednesday of December when most workers and school children were inside. Many of the clocks around the city froze at the moment the earthquake struck. It was a radical event that defined the future of Gyumri for many years to come. The city was half destroyed in 1988 and it was never really able to pick itself back up again. For the most part it feels like time is stuck here in Gyumri, if it's like it stopped in 1988 and it never really restarted. What are these? Well, this definitely feels like a journey back in time, a journey back in time to the Armenia of the past, to the Armenia that had really high expectations as a country, if only wasn't located in such a seismic zone. Здравствуйте, вы такси? Да. А, если я вам покажу место, везете. Я вам покажу, я вам покажу на фотке. So I just jumped on this taxi because there's this place that I want to see here in Gyumri. It's basically this one right here and it's an abandoned Soviet fountain and it's renowned here in Armenia because it was one of the only structures to withstand the earthquake of 1988 and it looks pretty cool so I want to go and visit. Это как одно фонтана, да, 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 я знаю. И она еще там, она стояла после землетрясения, да? Это в 88 году. Да, а вы родом из Гюмри, вы помните? Не дом убили, Ага. гост был у меня друг. О боже. Я хотел провожать, не успел с дома входить. Я вижу это, это что? Нет, это раньше были общежит. Of the 78 high-rise apartment blocks in the city that were built when Gyumri was known as Lenin during Soviet times, just six survived the quake. Most of the buildings erected during the imperial era were instead able to withstand the devastating effects of the earthquake. The official Communist Party newspaper Pravda said that poor construction, like other issues of neglect in the Soviet system, could be blamed on the period of stagnation that began with Leonid Brezhnev. Most Soviet buildings were engineered to resist magnitudes between 4 and 5, but this one was of course 6.8. Я думаю, что старое имя Гюмри как было? Ленинакан. Ленинакан? Да. Александрополь. Ah, okay, so back during Soviet times, the city of Gyumri was known as Leninakan. Actually, the city of Gyumri has changed many names throughout its history. Alexandrapol is the do. Do. Aha. Pri pri Russian Empire or or when? Da. Oh crap, it's super windy here in Gyumri and I forgot my wind muffler. But anyway, the taxi driver wasn't... Oh, I don't want to die yet, what is this? <laughs> so basically, the taxi driver took me for around 5 kilometers through the town of Gyumri for only 600 drums, which is like... One euro? I think that must have been the cheapest taxi ride I've ever had in my life. And anyway, the taxi driver took me here to the abandoned Soviet fountain. Oh my god, it's windy. To the abandoned Soviet fountain of Gyumri. Look at this. Alright, let's do some Armenian Urbex. This has to be like the weirdest looking fountain I've ever seen in my life. 
This fountain was operative up until 30 years ago and it was really amazing looking. It was built right in the center of the university campus of Gyumri. University campus which was built all around the fountain. This is a reconstruction I found of how the fountain would look like today if it was still working. What happened is that at the time of the earthquake all the university buildings surrounding the fountain collapsed with the Gyumri fountain being the only surviving structure in the neighborhood. Do you guys know those pictures from Hiroshima where you've got the town completely leveled after the launch of the nuclear bomb and then you've got a single gate that is still standing there? That's what basically what the Soviet fountain is reminding me of. <laughs> I'm now leaving the Soviet fountain behind because I want to go and see one of the fatally damaged buildings of the university campus of Gyumri from up close. There you go. And I don't think this one was finished actually. This was probably being built at the time of the earthquake in 1988, just from the looks of it. And maybe this one was being built to be, I don't know, some sort of scientific lab for the students of Gyumri? Can you imagine if this were like to collapse on my head, like right now? <laughs> that would be fun. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, reconstruction works have been underway throughout the years, at least in the center of Gyumri. It's the outskirts of town that have been mostly neglected, as reconstruction was hampered by the critical economic situation of the city following the earthquake of 1988. Unemployment still runs rampant in the city, with 90% of households having their men working in Russia. On the other hand, this, we're still in the university campus of Gyumri. This definitely was operative. This maybe was the medical facility of Gyumri University campus. I don't think there's any way for us to get inside of this building from here, just because you guys can see the barbed wire right here. So let's see, let's have a walk around and let's see what this building has to offer. Oh my God, it looks the wind current. You can see the walls, which are still intact. Somehow you can see the undistinguishable tiles dating back to the Soviet times. Right there, can you guys see? Let's go to this other room. And uh, I don't know, I'm a bit disappointed because I feel like this building has been stripped off of anything remotely interesting. Well, some good old urbex always does very well for the spirit. And while it is true that the center of Gyumri looks a lot better than its outskirts, you still can see stuff like this. This is the Abshajitia, the building that the taxi driver early on was telling us about. This was the dormitory of the University of Gyumri. This is where students used to live up until a couple of years ago. And when I say a couple, I mean, what, 35? And now this is just a place where all kinds of people can throw all sort of trash in here. Look at this. And I don't understand, why does it have to be that when people like she or someone else on YouTube does urban exploration, they find all this sort of cool memorabilia from the Soviet past? And when I do this, look, I can find only trash. This is not fair. As the town was almost leveled, some 150,000 survivors were left homeless in the mountainous north of Armenia just as winter was approaching. As foreign aid descended on Armenia, Gyumri's airport, which usually received around 4 arrivals per day at the time, was soon filled in as many as 180. An interesting piece of history is that on the 7th of December 1988, at the time of the earthquake, Mikhail Gorbachev, the secretary of the Soviet Union, was actually in visit in New York City. And despite the tension of the Cold War, the USA was actually the country providing the largest amount of humanitarian aid to the Soviet Union for the earthquake of Armenia in 1988. Wow, if only we could go back to those times, right? Alright, so I didn't have that much time here in Gyumri and I'm just about to wrap up this video but there is one last statue, it's called Mother Armenia so it's supposed to be pretty nice looking and I want to see how that one looks like in real life so I just jumped on another taxi, they're so cheap, it's like 2 euros for 5 kilometers so we're now going to this statue and yeah, let's see How are you? Are you here? Yeah, it's Italy Italy? Have you here? It's Gyumri 
Я приехал сюда, потому uh -huh. что мне интересна история. Я uh -huh. читал про землетрясение. Uh -huh. Как я не помню, землетрясение был когда-то я 29 лет был. Да, а где вы были? Помните? Дома. Пришел перерыв. Я на работе был. Ага. На пчелах был я. Покушал и смотрю, палили шатается. Да. И бегу на улицу. Смотрю, у нас впереди здание был дом. Пятиэтажный, девятиэтажный. Да, советский, да, кушок. Смотрю. Ага. Реально? Вау. Отец сказал, бегите, землетрясение. Так, ваш дом не Раз подало все. или под, под, а, Стоял. Стоял? Оба. А, а здание напротив попал? Ну, да, попал. здание okay. напротив okay. всех okay. нет. Here goes the statue over there. I mean, it looks pretty nice. I think it's Soviet built. А советский построили, да? Да. Okay, okay. Why does it have to be? Every single time that I'm here, standing in front of a Soviet statue of this kind, built by the Soviet motherland, the son is always behind the statue. So all the pics that I can take will be shared. <laughs> so all is left for me to do is really thanking you for joining me on this trip to Gyumri and for having learned a bit about the history of this place. So, thank you again. I'll see you next time from somewhere else in Armenia, probably. I don't know. So cheers. Thank you. Bye.